Hey everyone, it's the Obsessed Movie Man, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm trying to do some filler content right now while I work on a pretty big review, um, which the idea is that it's gonna be The Wizard of Oz, and it's gonna be, the goal is for it to be two parts. But before, I'm not gonna really go into that right now, but I wanted to do a collection video update, because I haven't really done that in a while. So, here's what I have on display right now. On the top, I have an Indiana Jones figure, which is pretty new, from Hasbro. And you have the build a figure or build an artifact, which is the Lost Ark. I have a lot more figures that are in storage now. It's come to that point. But yeah, also I have the Universal Monsters on display right up there. There's a Buzz Lightyear I got from Downtown Disney. This really cool retro Tyrannosaurus Rex from that's made to look like a '93 Kenner Jurassic Park figure. It's the Lego Seinfeld set and the Millennium Falcon. I have the Infinity Gauntlet right now. The thumb is stuck, so I just made the gauntlet into a fist. But the thumb is stuck, and I heard that's a problem on a lot of these Infinity Gauntlets from Marvel Legends, which sucks. There's Bruce from Jaws, a little Funko Jaws. There's the Enterprise. I kind of want to get the next generation Enterprise also, but no room. I have two Batmobiles, both from McFarlane Toys. This 66 Batmobile and this 89 Batmobile. It came, the 89 Batmobile came with Michael Keaton's Batman, I got that for my birthday. There's the Hogwarts Express. Um, I have this Barbie Elphaba, I'm not a Barbie collector. Well, I have two, you'll see the other ones soon, but they're from like certain memorabilia kind of things. I used to have a bunch of Wizard of Oz Barbies as a little kid though. Um, yeah, really excited for that Wicked movie. I have a spot for these two Funko Pop Wizard of Oz that are gonna be coming in in a few months. There's this Batman Funko Pez dispensers. The top is open, but the Wizard of Oz, this anniversary one, is still mint in package. And I have this Margot Robbie Barbie. The package is pretty damaged, but I got it at a good price. Uh, Blockbuster DVD, I believe that was for Holes. And some Funko Pops right here. There's Blofeld, Audrey Hepburn for Breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey 2. Not Christmas Night Before Christmas, Sally, Howard the Duck, and Crow and Tom from Mystery Science Theater 3000. <clears throat> There's a little Jurassic Park case that came with a John Hammond figure. But this Barbie is the Margot Robbie one. I just like the packaging. I like specific movie tie-in kind of things. So I'm not a Barbie collector per se, but if it has, if it's based off like a movie, I'll get it. And I'm not gonna show off the movie collection right away, but I wanna just quickly show off how the bad movie selection works because I got this at LA Comic Con a few months ago. A official Tommy Wiseau The Room football signed by Tommy Wiseau. So yeah. So this is my Jurassic Park display. I moved it up down to here with the T-Rex eating the goat. Mo pretty much all of this is specifically based off the Lost World and the first Jurassic Park film. And I apologize if my voice is a little raspy, and if it was a little raspy in the Wonka review, I'm recovering from an illness, some really bad cold and flu. There's Dennis Nedry getting eaten by the Dolphosaurus. I really like how this Jurassic Park display came out. I want to kind of add some fern and some grass and trees, but there's like no room. So I'm gonna use the flashlight for this. Here's the Marvel Legend. Here are the Avengers and Guardians shelf. What I did here is I put it, all the figures that I had, they were in the final battle of the Avengers, I put here even if they're not in the correct costume. I have the civilian shelf, where it's just non-superpowered people. Now I have the etc. shelf. I love this um, final moment, Iron Man. I have the villain shelf, which I really like. I love this Green Goblin and Doc Ock right here. Um, I wish they made this Kingpin bigger. Yeah. Um, here I'm, I changed. If for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know I had this Arkham Asylum, Arkham, the Arkham shelf. I sold off a lot of the DC collectibles ones. I have a few, but I mostly replaced them with McFarlane ones. Um, so yeah. Also have this DC collectibles, Batman the animated series, plus a few Superman the animated series shelf. I just recently got this Alfred that was re-released from McFarlane Toys. So here is. Masters of the Universe and Transformers. The Transformers are specifically from the Travis Knight Bumblebee movie. I'm excited for that Megatron that's coming out. He was on the movie, it was a concept series. There's some Ghostbusters, Power Rangers, specifically the Power Rangers I grew up with, Power Rangers in Space. 
a few G.I. Joes, and I love Avatar The Last Airbender figures. So moving on, um, we'll have some Legos up here. This is kind of a Lego shelf. I combined these two Final Battle Spider-Man sets into one. Originally it came with like a Sandman and the Statue of Liberty head were separately, were separate. There's Spider-Man right there. And a lot of these are cars right here. There's the Indiana Jones car and the plane from that set is right up here. There's Kit from Knight Rider, my beloved Knight Rider. There's the evolution of the Batmobile kind of, but I'll get to that. There's the Ecto-1, there's James Bond's car. There's the 66 Batmobile, 89 Batmobile, 2005 Batmobile, and 2022 Batmobile. When did the Batman come out? I think 2022, maybe 2023. Here's my Clone Wars set, or battle set. Here's some more Legos. More Legos, like here's the Geodos ship, Anakin's ship, and an Obi-Wan ship, and the Anakin's pod racer. And let me get this out of the way, it's a little bit of a mess. It's a Ninja Turtle set, I have a new April O'Neil coming in the mail sometime, I don't know when. I don't have an official Technodrome, but there is a small one. Um, again, it's pretty messy. Here's, this is Toby, I just called him Toby, I named him off after Sherlock Holmes' dog. He is the droid that I built at Galaxy's Edge. This, this is one of the, the greatest things in my collection, I believe. A remote control Godzilla that shoots out steam. It comes from the new Godzilla X Kong movie. It's really cool. Here's some more of the ring sets. And Herbie from the Love Bug. I don't know why he's there. And this is the, hold on, ah, my old legs. The Godzilla show. This is now, went from Godzilla and Kong memorabilia to specifically like Godzilla memorabilia like things that I think are pretty cool like this Godzilla skeleton Godzilla bank a few Treadmasters figures a keychain Imperial Godzilla's Treadmaster Godzilla in the packaging that's what, those are the figures I grew up on SH Monster Arts concept Mecha Godzilla's Mecha Godzilla's Mezco Godzilla's Mezco Kong Mecha Kong's and some movie monster series that I had from my childhood so here's some Lego Batman sets various ones. Here's my Lego Empire shelf. I made this tray for an ATAT. -AT -AT. I sold my Lego Tantive to a friend. Here's some big sets. There's the Ghost. Here's Luke's X-Wing, the Razor Crest, Fulcrum, and the, Repu the Coruscant Republic gunship. Here's the DC shelf. First off, here are the SH Figure Arts Hush series of figures. There's also the SH Figure Arts Dark Knight Trilogy characters. And I have a lot of McFarlane DC Multiverse, which is, say what you will about the line, some of them are pretty fun, other ones are just terrible. I love the Bane though. But here's my X-Men figure shelf, which is like a comic book series, but I'm using some of the X-Men 97 figures to be in my comic display. The Cyclops I kind of customized. I took the VHS head sculpt the one that came in the VHS set, and I put it on the body of the new Cyclops from the X-Men 97 figure. And that's pretty, I think it's a pretty good Cyclops. So here's like the main event, the Marvel Legends shelf. Again, there's some things I made for, made leeway from, like there's an animated series Green Goblin, there's also an animated series Knock Hawk in there. See, there he is. Oh, this is Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Batmobile. Here's the Haya Godzilla figures. There's Ghidorah. Really cool. I bought this not long before they announced they're doing one with gravity beams, so I'm tempted if I'm going to sell this off. So there's Rodan and Mothra. Um, here's some Star Trek stuff. And here's some etc. Kind of like Ghost Rider, Doctor Doom on Math, the symbiote. This is a symbiote effect from Spider Man 3 toy line. And some old Marvel Legends, the Werewolf by Night, Dracula, and Frankenstein's monster. And here is Galactus with the Silver Surfer, one of my most prized positions. Let's turn, let's press the button. There we go, that's pretty cool. We're almost there. Um, here's the Star Wars shelf. 
just got this Jabba the Hutt recently. I love this Darth Vader from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Dr. Afra, Mara Jade. Here's the clone, my Clone Wars shelf. The Empire shelf. And I just sold off my Mando, Mando figure. I'm getting a new one. Um, here's my like Rebellion slash Resistance, or not Resistance, um, or New Republic shelf. Here's some Santa Legos. And the last thing I'll show off is this Lego Daily Bugle. I want to, I kind of have, I want to add characters that weren't from the set, but could work. Like I added Vulture, he wasn't originally from there, but I put him in the set. The set's been hit or um, had some damage to it, so some of the pieces are not in complete condition, but I still love it. But yeah, this is my collection. If you guys want to see me do, um, talk about the movie collection, let me know. I'm sorry for the lack of content. I'm gonna do my best to get the Wizard of Oz one out, or maybe even in the meantime, do a mini review so I can um, just work on the Wizard of Oz review. I'm planning on doing some of it today, or at least today and tomorrow. But yeah, um, thank you guys for still watching the stuff, and hope you have a good day. This is thanks. This is Home M signing out.